Jacob equals 31. And today is Tuesday, the 6th of February, 2018. And we are 31 days away from Friday, the 9th of March, 2018. And that's the date, the main date of the prophecy of Jacob and Nathan. So who was born on the 6th of the 9th, 2002? Keeping in mind Jake died on the 22nd of October, 1989. Who is the psychic reflection of Jacob Wetterling? And who was the same age as Jake at the end of Jake's life on earth when he told me that Wetterling means weather child? Wetter in German is weather. Ling is little one. So, who is that boy who grew up in Germany and knew German enough to be able to tell me that? So I started calling Jake the Storm Boy a good couple of years before that, because it was February 2012, and it was between the 12th and the 17th of February 2012 when I started calling Jake the Storm Boy because of some things that just happened coincidentally. Something involving orange butterflies, something involving an eagle, something involving a big storm on Jake's birthday in 2012. So Jake's birthday is coming up soon, but strangely enough Jake's birthday is not one of the dates that I've listed on my list of dates, at least not originally, and this is my original list. So the dates with oracles or signs. Well, there's the first six dates that I made predictions for. 6th of December, 22nd of December, 7th of January, 23rd of January, 27th of January, 31st of January. Obviously, Jake equals 31. That turned out to be the date of the super blue blood moon. So that was pretty cool. 31st of January. 2018. And Nathan's being very naughty right now with his breeze, which is Nathan's surname. And Nathan actually died on the 7th of February 2009, so it's coming up to the nine year anniversary. And that is on my list of dates, and that's tomorrow, Wednesday, 7th of February. So, a date to watch for a sign sign in nature. Then nine days later it's the anniversary of Ash Wednesday which falls on a Friday. The anniversary of Black Saturday falls on a Wednesday. And strangely enough the anniversary of Black Friday the 13th of January fell on a Saturday. And then the big date Friday 9th of March 2018. So I'm looking for oracles, angelic boys, signs, clues, omens in nature. Snakey boy. Uh, why did I put a snake on there? Oh, that's right. I remember now. It's a message against authoritarianism. And I heard a Donald Trump supporter, who's actually a pastor, evangelical Christian. He described Donald Trump's enemies as snakes. So I thought, and Jake thought, and Nathan thought, oh yeah, we can be snakes. Because we don't like Donald Trump. So there you go. So, Friday 9th of March is the main date, and that's the birthday of someone else, who there's a message for in this as well. Someone who is turning 27 on Friday 9th of March 2018. There's a message in this for him as well. A sign. A little bit of reassurance. So, we're 31 days away from that date. 27th birthday of my friend and my other friend who is the 
Psychic Reflection of Jacob Wetterling. And the boy who told me. That Wetterling means, actually means weather child. The boy who I was calling the Storm Boy anyway, his surname means weather child. And the boy I connected him to, Nathan, has the surname Breeze. And the Breeze has been, been making this video very difficult, I have to say. Because it's a little bit gusty. And it's flapping my papers around. And flapping these leaves around too. And I realized something last night, and that is Jacob and Nathan both had older sisters named Amy. Well, Jake's sister's still alive, Amy Wetterling. Pretty sure she lives in Minneapolis, in Minnesota, where it's... I think they're going for a maximum today of like minus 12 or something there. Celsius. Nathan's sister died in the same bushfire that killed Nathan on Black Saturday. Now I have since added a few other dates to my list. This is my original list. I since since this list, I did add a few more dates. And they are the 9th of February, the 10th of February, and the 11th of February. Three in a row. And also Jake's birthday, the 17th of February. So a few extra dates to watch out for signs, but these are the main dates that I originally chose. And then I got a bit carried away, as one does when one is looking out for signs in nature and the world. Signs to do with weather and angels and snakes and things, you know. You want as many dates as possible, really, to maximize your chances of getting a direct hit. <laughs> Because the only direct hit that will really count here is the one that is reflected there. Friday 9th of March 2018. Some kind of event in nature. Or maybe it would be something involving Donald Trump because he keeps popping his warmongering racist head up all the time. He did on the 6th of December. He announced that he was recognizing Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, which I thought was... It's fine for that to happen at some point, but it's strange timing when he did it. And... Um... You know... More of a warmongering gesture than a peace offering, I thought. And... I don't know, Trump popped up somewhere else, but I can't remember where. Well, his State of the Union address was the day before super blood blue moon. That was on the 30th of January. And yeah, there's been some pretty cool events on those dates that have happened so far. I wonder what will happen tomorrow. Wednesday 7th of February 2018. The 9th anniversary of Black Saturday. Well, it's uh, there's nothing in the forecast that I know of. But then again, I've been a bit offline lately, so... I guess we'll see. We'll, tomorrow will come and we'll see if something happens or if something doesn't happen. I'm not too worried either way. I know there's going to be some signs on at least a couple of these dates. And I know who they're for.